Hello and welcome to Lloyd Lewis Artists YouTube channel. I'm Lloyd Lewis and I'm an artist that's exhibited throughout the UK. I'm also currently um, showing one piece in the RWA uh, the Open Exhibition, the 167th Open Exhibition in Bristol, which I'm really pleased about. And I'm also going to be in Sky Landscape Artist of the Year. And this video is going to talk all about my experiences while I was there. It was wonderful. So. If you like this video, then please subscribe, hit the like button, leave a comment, let me know what you thought, what your main takeaway was from this video. So, as you know, I have um, entered for the last few years the Sky Portrait Artist Competition and so far haven't been um, lucky to get in or, you know, chosen to get in. Um, so I thought I, I've done one landscape and that's enough to, uh, you know, try my hand at Landscape Artist of the Year. So uh, I entered and I wasn't um, successful in, into, in getting in as a contestant, but they said, we, why, why not try um, entering as a, um, as a wild card? So I got through and I got in as a wild card and um, we, I had to travel up to Hertz Monsieur Castle in Sussex. Um, there was some drive. We went up Wednesday night. I think I got in at about one o'clock to a friend's house. And then I was up again at sort of early doors, uh, six o'clock, I think it was, get ready to go. And I had to be there at seven. So it was, uh, I was pretty tired. Um, Hertz Monsieur Castle is really pretty, really gorgeous. The grounds are fantastic. And uh, I just thought, wow, this is going to be <laughs> quite impressive and quite incredible to paint. Considering I'd only ever successfully completed one landscape, um, I thought, I may have bitten off a little bit more than I can chew, but me being me, I, I gave it my best shot. Now, I'm not 100% happy with the painting that I completed, and I'll show you that in a little bit. But, um, yeah, we I was with 50 other wildcard entrants. Um, one of them was the finalist of the BBC Big Painting Challenge, and he was really nice, really lovely guy. Um, it's got to meet him and um, I thought he was really good and uh, and he was hard done by in the big painting challenge I thought he deserved to win. I think, I think his work was far better than um, than any of the others um, there, but um, that's for another um, episode possibly and uh, it's not really for me to say as it um, but I also met some really lovely people I met a guy called Dutchie. He was really nice. We hit it off and uh, now we're Facebook friends Which is really nice and um, we comment on uh, Sorry, I've got to do this. Facebook friends. And um, yeah, and uh, we he, he, um, we comment on each other's work and things. So it's really lovely, really supportive um, environment. Now, when we started painting, we were given, it said you, you'll have four hours, you know, make sure you have your lunch and things like that. We were fairly self-contained. So we, we, we were escorted to this plate, the, to the, the venue. Um, down the big hill and things and we had to load our all our um stuff on into a back of a trailer and um they were taking shots of us uh, as we were walking towards there now i was wearing um only because it's my only um waterproof jacket i was wearing a bright green luminous jacket okay it's got nothing to do with the fact that i wanted to stand out or anything like that um but obviously if you see on um, the 4th of December in the Sky Landscape Artist Competition uh, program, if you see a bright green um, luminous jacket, as chances are that was me. So, um, we started painting and um, I just thought, okay, now I have no idea about landscape and if I was to do it again, I would definitely, definitely, 100% include some foreground, which I didn't. I just thought, I wanted because the sky was really impressive and I just thought, I, I was tunnel vision, I just thought I'm going to include a nice big sky. Um, again, I need a lot of practice on painting skies, it was okay, uh, um, you know, and I got off to a fast start. Um, I was told I got off to a fast start because I turned around at one point, and who was there but Tai Shan Schierenberg. The Tai Shan Schierenberg, and it was amazing. He was just so nice, really lovely, he's exactly like he is. On, on on telly um yeah he was just lovely really really nice and uh, i remember him saying oh um how are you mixing your grays and i was like 
uh, what? Okay, um, this is Taishan Schirenberg asking me how I mix my greys, so uh, don't stutter, don't get it wrong, don't say red. Right, so um, I said, right, I just told him what I, what I was using, I um, ultramarine, um, burnt umber and a bit of titanium white, and he was just, he just like very professorial, just, hmm, yeah, really nice. And he said, oh, you've got off to a really fast start there, that's good. And I was like, yeah, have I? okay, cool. Um, yeah, so um, he came and uh, he came back a little bit later and I'll tell you about that. And then, so um, I got interviewed for, um, the I think, the, the main part of the programme, which they said they might include in there. We don't know just yet. Um, I was very tired. I can't remember exactly what I said. So if I come across as mental, it's because I was tired and it's not because I'm mental. All right, I'm going to say that now. Um, then I got interviewed for the kind of behind the scenes bit and um, we, got, I, I, we hit it off, um, the cameraman and the, and the reporter, the, the interviewer and things like that. So we were having a laugh. And she said at one point, are you competitive, Lloyd? And I said, I'm very competitive. And uh, she said, right, okay, so what would happen if you don't win? And I just couldn't help myself. I said, right, well, if I don't win, I'm going to smash this place up. <laughs> As a joke, I wouldn't have, you know, couldn't have. It's, it's a castle. I'm one man with a paintbrush. There's no way I can hand, I smash that up. But yeah, it was good fun. Um, we had uh, lots and lots of uh, camaraderie. The, the atmosphere was just, uh, it was magic. Kathleen Soriano, I didn't get to speak to Kate Bryan. I saw Kate Bryan, obviously, um, there. Um, and Joan Bakewell and Stephen Mangum, but I didn't get to speak to them, but I spoke to Ka um, Kathleen Soriano, and um, she said that my work was cute. Yeah, cute. Kathleen Soriano called my work cute at one point, and um, I really want to get in on, in on the uh, Sky uh, Portrait Artist competition now, because I want to show her that my work is far from cute. Um, and I know she wasn't being rude, and I know she was just, you know, commenting. And it wasn't a great painting, so I think she was just maybe struggling for something to say. I said, only, it's the first time I've ever done On Plan Air. Um, so, yeah, it was, uh, I, I'll, I'll accept cute as a, as a as, as, with, with kind of how it was probably intended, you know, nice um, thing. But to have my work described as cute by someone you, you kind of, uh, you, whose judgment you value, it, it was a little bit of a like, oh, okay. Um, and then Taishan Shirinbe came back, and um, he 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 was magic. He he's looking at my painting. I said, "Oh, I love this. I love that." And then he just spotted something. He's like, "Wow, I love that. That's amazing." And you really, you know, effusive and things like that. And I was like, "Oh, wow, thank you very much. I really appreciate that." Um, so yeah, he, it was really nice to ha hear like Taishan Shirinberg, the Taishan Shirinberg, the amazing artist, comment favorably on my work so that was really cool um obviously i didn't win um i wasn't expecting to win at all and the lady that won was really really good she produced a really nice piece of work and um yeah and and, and there were some excellent excellent pieces of work throughout uh, being produced there that day so it was amazing amazing um thing um yeah it was absolutely wonderful i really 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 uh, enjoyed it and it's definitely an experience i would like to um replicate and, and, and try out again but yeah that was my time at um at Hertz Monsieur and then I had to drive home uh I can't remember how many hours like four hour drive from from there to Bristol or something like that which was uh which was interesting but um I was I was buzzing afterwards and I had so much fun um while I was there and met some lovely people met Taishan Scherenberg which was the highlight for me um yeah and uh so hopefully I'm featured in the program um and I'll show the piece of work that I created in a bit um, through gritted teeth, this is, by the way, all right? Uh, so, yeah, I'll do that now. I'll show you the piece now. So, this is the piece. Um, as you can see, it's very raw, it's very rough, um, big clouds, big sky, little evidence of any recognisable um, foreground. I didn't know about the rule of thirds. Okay, any landscape artists out there, I'm sorry. I did not know about the rule of thirds. Um, and I understand why the rule of thirds is necessary. I really do. Um, but yeah, and if I, I, I've, I've done a few more landscapes since completing this one. And I've enjoyed them. I really have enjoyed them. And I no longer view myself as simply a portrait artist. I view myself as, in art, as an artist, as someone who is committed to, you know 
developing my practice in many many different ways so that the one positive one of many positive things that came out of the sky landscape artist competition was that i now um you know i i really value landscape art painting and things and um i know how tough it is and um yeah I, as you can see i you know was, this was a, a first attempt at on plein air i'm quite pleased with the trees I'm, you know the, the elements of the trees there and there's elements in the sky um building the treatment of the building it probably it leaves a bit to be desired but um again i've never ever ever painted uh, painted a building more well, i've done it once in watercolor um you know but um it's okay it's it's it is what it is it stands as a piece of painting um that i did uh, it's I, i'll keep it forever i think because it's um it's one of those little pieces that marks a, a you know a nice it's a m nice memento um so yeah that's that's my experience this is my painting i hope you like it um let me know in the comments what you think okay just can i just thank richard and bex for putting me up as well they were absolutely the consummate hosts they were so kind so lovely and rich rich diego came and um supported me while i was there painting and it was such a lift to have him there so i just want to say thank you because he was amazing and he taken he's taken some of these wonderful photos that you've seen today in this video as well so thank you thank you thank you so much i really appreciate it cheers bye bye no why am i saying bye bye don't so if you enjoyed that video, um, let me know with a like. Uh, leave a comment below. Tell me what you thought of my painting. Tell me what you thought of the program. If I'm in it um, and I didn't make a massive fool of myself, tell me what. Tell me. Tell me nice things. Don't tell me anything negative. I don't want to hear it. Um, but yeah. Um, obviously, we're going to be. Uh, I'm going to be releasing some amazing stuff um, in the next few weeks. I've got some. I've actually secured some interviews with some really really uh, amazing artists I'm, I'm not going to tell you there's a couple of them that i'm just really pleased with really proud of um so yeah uh this keep an eye out on this youtube channel we've got some really cool things coming up thanks guys take care bye bye